are tuned in. Your lifestyle expert, Rita Fuller Yates. So hang on, it's about to get real. Hey, it's Rita Fuller Yates, your lifestyle expert. And we're back in the kitchen! I stopped making videos uh, in the kitchen because we went to reality. We started doing appetizer classes during our wine, dine, and create uh, workshops. Uh, so I wanted to get back into action, show you guys what it is that we've been teaching other people. Um, and one of the things that we've been teaching people that's been a great success is how to make homemade salsa and homemade chips. When I tell you that once you learn how to make it yourself, you'll never want to eat anyone else's. I'm telling you, I haven't yet bought anyone else's since I've learned how to make this. So with that being said, it's really easy. There's uh, very few ingredients needed to make it. Um, and it's very fast to make it. Uh, now it does require a little sitting, but we'll talk about that uh, in a little while. Uh, but let's get started. That's all we can do is just go ahead and get started. I'll talk about the ingredients that you need first. Uh, let me get my handy dandy draped in Elan apron. I love her aprons. For anyone that doesn't know, she makes custom made aprons for your home and entertainment experience. As you see there, I have my name there. She's just absolutely fabulous. Uh, from my understanding, she's going to be at the uh, vendors, wedding vendors conference on March 12th. So please check her out. Draped in Elan. E L A N. I've been so pleased with her work. Oh, I love it. And we just got to get back to just doing the basics. And some of the basics is bringing our attire back into the home. So, so that we're not continuing to me just continue to ramble on. We're getting ready to get started. As I told you before, we're making homemade salsa and chips. Always recommend putting on sanitized gloves for sanitary purposes. Now, one of the first things you're going to need are three cut up tomatoes. I've already pre-cut them up uh, so that we're, this video can go a little faster. We all know how to properly cut a tomato. Uh, and if you don't, I can demonstrate that for you. Uh, and if you want to know in the future or in the near future, come to one of our workshops. We, we talk about those type of things. My cousin is fabulous at explaining those type of things. Okay, so we start out with our tomatoes. We add in some green peppers. I would say everything is based on your own liking. Since we use three tomatoes, I'm going to use about four teaspoons of green pepper. And then I use, and I'm keeping these cans out for you so that you can walk through the process and visually see what it is that I use. So many times videos are full of crap and, and they use a lot more ingredients than what they're saying. But I'm showing you the actual ingredient so that you know what to look for at the store. Uh, this particular ingredient is my diced tomatoes. And so I also use this and it adds a little more juice to your salsa. So I would say, don't use a bunch, just one tablespoon, maybe two, because it's the size of the salsa. I'm gonna scoop that in there. I get so excited when I make a salsa because it's just like one of my favorite go-to appetizers. I'm gonna use fresh garlic. Again, everything is based on your liking. I love garlic, so I'm gonna use a little more than what someone else may use. And I'm combining it all together. It's just that simple. And then the next thing I'm, I buy is the Rotel Original Diced Tomato and green chilies. I'm going to also use some additional green chilies, but this just adds in a little flavor. And I use about two scoops of that. Again, all these things are just going to create a good seasoning, um, keep the um, salsa 
with lots of juice from so it won't be dried out and it adds flavor. Okay, also adding in some onion. Now I like to use red onion because I just like the taste a little better, but you can use yellow onion as well, diced up. And I use a lot because I like onion. And then we're going to put a little bit of chilies. Now all of this work, just combining it into the bowl. So don't make it any more complicated than what it needs to do. I will use a spoon so that we know how much we need. I wouldn't use too much because we have already chilies in with the tomato sauce. So I will use only about a, a teaspoon. And then now uh, for those of us that like a little heat, um, I like heat. Preferably, my husband really likes the heat. So we, of course, want to add in some jalapenos. This is based on your liking, of course. I'm only going to use a couple because I like heat, but I don't like a lot of heat. I'm going to chop them up a little bit so that it gets inside. That's one thing about a jalapeno. If you take a little bite of a piece of jalapeno, it's going to dissatisfy the taste for the rest of your bites because it's really hot. So, I like to chop my jalapenos up. And then last but not least, I like to use cilantro. I love cilantro. Cilantro! Doesn't that sound like Italian? Shouldn't I be like, cilantro? It's just something about it. But it smells great. That's what I love about cilantro. It's so fresh smelling. Um, and it gives its own little energy to the salsa. Now we're almost done, believe it or not. This is just that easy. I told y'all it was easy. I don't do anything too complicated. Cooking made easy, remember that. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna use is a little red vinegar. Kroger's red vinegar is fine. Any name that you see, and you're only gonna use about again. Gotta get back into, I'm an eye person. Gotta get back into measuring things. I would say a teaspoon, just one teaspoon. And then you're going to use a little olive oil. Same thing. You're going to use about teaspoon, two teaspoons of olive oil because it's going to offset all of the juices that you already used uh, throughout making the salsa. We're almost done. I told y'all this is so stupid simple. And we've been going to the store and buying this for $9.99 when you could have made it yourself for $5, even less than that. And then I always like to add a little pepper and salt. I'm a kosher girl, so I use kosher salt. I like it. And sea salt, too. Sea salt is also one of my go-to favorite salts. Once you sprinkle a little bit of that on there, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just start mixing it together. Now it takes for the taste to really uh, mesh together, for the, all of the ingredients to mesh together well, I would honestly suggest um, keeping it in the refrigerator overnight because at that point it creates its own experience when all the juices live together overnight. And they breathe together, and they sleep together, and then you get to wake up and eat them. <laughs> Isn't that so much fun? I know. So did I tell y'all that I really am not a chef or anything? I am a mother and a wife, and I had to learn how to make things good, because I like good food, but make it simple because I didn't have a lot of time like my grandma did. And this is where I developed this whole idea of cooking made easy. Because everybody loves homemade food. I went to an event a couple weeks ago and I hosted it. And I was, uh, the participants were asked to bring in a lot of their own, or excuse me, their own homemade dish. As well as some people, you know, brought in things from the store. 
But you do know that at the end of the event, everything that was homemade was scraped. So if we know that, that we love going to events and eating all the homemade meals, why don't we gravitate more to making it? Because it takes a little time. Well, that's where my recipes come into play. They don't take that much time once you learn how to make it easier for you. And that's what I did for you today. So then once you have made, I'd say chop that up. You can even use a, you can even puree it, put it in a machine. I don't like it because I like more of a chunky salsa. So does my husband. Oh, I forgot. You guys, I forgot your your garlic salt. How could I forget that? See, here we go. I totally forgot about my handy dandy garlic salt. And it just adds a little flavor, sprinkle it in. I'll keep it out there for you. Oh man, how could I have forgotten that? That's like one of the main key ingredients to making sure it is delicious. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this in the refrigerator. Like I said before, it does take, uh, oh, sitting overnight in order for it to really have a taste that is fabulous. Okay. When y'all are cooking, do y'all start dancing and singing? I just do, just because I like to move. I just like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay. So I'm putting this salsa on in the refrigerator. And I'll pull it out so that we can eat it after when I teach you how to make the nachos. Because I told you the nachos are really easy to make. You're going to really kick yourself in the foot for that one. Okay. Into the refrigerator we go. I would say let it sit out overnight. Um, sit in, I should say, sit in the refrigerator overnight. And the next day, it is so fabulous. Okay, so now we're about to talk about these homemade nachos. Now this really is the staple of the nachos and salsa because it really is a great bite. Not only is the salsa nice and juicy and gives a good uh, earthy taste, uh, the nachos are salty, but well, they don't have preservatives in them. So we've got to keep in mind that they taste better. Where there's no preservatives, taste better. Okay. So what we do is we use just your basic old tortilla flax that you buy from the grocery store. I started stripping it and explaining the process to you, but again, tortilla. It's just a flat flour tortilla. You can buy them. There's the name brand doesn't matter. The cheaper, the better doesn't matter. I stack mine because it's a little easier when you stack them to get done finished faster. At that point, I cut them up into squares. I make about three or four lines. And then I turn it around and I'm making squares with it. You hold it down with your left hand so that you're successful with it. And it is so easy. It's just almost unbelievable that we keep going to restaurants for this and spending $60 and $70. And you can just do it at your home for less than $10. I know. I know. Well, if you don't know, you don't know. But now you know. So, with that being said, so we cut it up. As you see here, we've cut them up in squares. That easy. The next step is to put them in the vegetable oil. 
and it only takes about, and I'll show you that process, but we got some vegetable oil going on over here on the uh, stove. And I would say take a good handful, maybe like this, and you're going to put it into the grease, start popping them into the grease. Now make sure they're not combined because at that point they're going to uh, fry combined. So I would go ahead and just start popping them in there. And they start frying all by themselves. They take about, I'd say about three minutes, depending on how much you use and how much. You can always use a deep fryer. That's what we use when we're doing them for the workshops. But this is one of our faves. But I'm gonna, while that is cooking, I'm going to show you the results of our fabulous nachos. Voila! So we made our homemade chips and we finished our homemade salsa. And I'm gonna pull out the homemade salsa that I made last night in preparation for this video because the salsa we just made, as I said before, needs to sit in the refrigerator overnight. But I wanna to demonstrate to you how great tasting this salsa is. So give me a minute. Voila! This was the salsa that I made last night. And it tastes, it's gonna be so fabulous. Now I would suggest giving it a little stir because it has been sitting in the refrigerator overnight. Yes, I do have several of these bows, so it does look similar to the bow I use. And then we're gonna take our nachos and we're going to give this thing a good try. Let's see. Mm, that looks so good. Oh, that's cilantro. Oh! Mm, 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 mm. Yeah! Yeah! It's fresh. You can taste all of the ingredients mixed together without it being one ingredient that's overpowering the rest. It's simple. It's inexpensive to make. Go ahead and make your homemade sauce and chips. You will not regret this. This is Rita, your lifestyle expert, and I hope to help and not hinder. I'll see you next time.